Now, when we think about, okay, well, what happened? We're, we're, we're assuming, we assumed that cash was paid for the purchase of equipment because equipment went up as a whole. Now, obviously, again, in real life, we would look at the general ledger and say, well, what other activity is in there? But, but other than it went up, we're assuming by just one purchase, but more purchases could be in there and included within that area is not just the purchase, but the sale. So we sold something and we also purchased something for more than this. So this, this cash paid for equipment, it should be higher. We paid for something. If we look at the G, if we look at the GL, we're going to see that there's something that we, that we purchased that was, was more than that. And then it went down by this number. And if we look at our information over here, we might be able to see if they gave us some more information on that. So we sold equipment. Uh, we, we purchased equipment and here it is. We purchased equipment for 113,250. So that, that purchase needs to be 115,250 if we pay cash for it. And it says we did, we paid all cash for it. So that means that this number, uh, needs to, needs to go up, uh, in the negative direction. It needs to be a bigger decrease. And therefore we're going to go over, that's where we're going to post this item. So this equipment account, we are going to post here. We're going to call it cash paid for the purchase of equipment. That's going to be this, this, uh, negative number. And I'm going to put that on our flow statement in the adjusting section. We're going to put it right here. And I'm going to say this equals that 51. And that makes this a little too large for my cells. Okay. So that, that means that this is going up to 113. And if we look over here, we're going to say that that now matches our data down here saying it's the 113 cost of that equipment. Okay. So we have that. Now we just have one more piece. We're still out of balance by the uh, 2001. So that of course is the gain or loss. So gain, gain or loss in our journal entry, where does that go on our financial statement? And remember that the loss, when we recorded the loss, it was included in net income. However, we don't want to report uh, that, that information in there. Any cash related to uh, the, the investing activities or any cash related to the equipment should be in the investing activities. Therefore, the loss brought down net income and we don't want to have it on the uh, operating activities in uh, the, the net income area. Therefore, we're going to pull it back out. So that's where this is going to go. And if that's this convenient little spot right there. That's where it's going to go. And we're going to call that loss 